YouTube. It's Matt from the Glove Bros coming to you guys with our daily rant. Um, today I'm not going to be really ranting. I'm going to be just more talking. Um, in this video, I'm going to be featuring our Rawlings 12-inch mesh, uh, hard to hide, and my custom 44 Pro 13-inch H-Web Classic Series first basement. I just want to get out of the way because sometimes people ask what gloves there are, and I just want to tell you guys up front. Um, okay, so today we're going to have a conversation about starting a glove account. Um, in the past couple days or weeks, more like, um, a lot of people have been approaching me asking um, if they should start a um, glove account. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little advice, not saying like we're the biggest glove account in the world and we know everything about glove accounts. I'm just going to say what I think you should know when you make a glove account. Okay, so when you're about to make a glove account, you should have at least one high quality glove. Something A2000, hard to hide quality or better. You guys might call me a, an asshole or something like that, um, but you really shouldn't just have like a bunch of A800s. I'm not discouraging you. If you want to do it, please do. I'm just saying what I think you should have. Um, should I have at least one or two hard to hides or A2000s, something of good quality. I mean, I have to have like a brand new pro department or anything. So that's something of decent quality. And um, that's the first thing I would say. Um, the second thing is the most important thing is having a good knowledge of gloves overall. I feel like I know a decent amount about every glove um, in the U.S. I don't know a lot about Asian gloves like SSKs um, or stuff like that. Um, me and Nike, uh, I think Nike Baseball Maniac is his name. We're in a group chat uh, with a bunch of guys. We started talking about uh, rubber ball gloves uh, made in uh, Japan and uh, Korea. We started talking about that. See, I didn't know too much about that. I said something and he corrected me. Um, so I learned and I'm happy I learned that um, about what we were talking about. All right. So two, have a good baseball knowledge. Three, be willing to learn from other people. Like I just said, don't just be like that guy where it's like um, this color is, is tan you know, it's camel, and people start arguing over the little thing. Uh, Ooh, excuse me. Accept criticism. Uh, four. Don't comment on everybody's picture offering the one good glove you have. I really don't like when glove accounts start, and they have, like, one DP15, and then they put on everybody's picture, and I, like, I'll scroll down my timeline, and they'll be like, trade for my DP15, trade for my DP15, trade for my DP15. Trade for my DP15? No, I don't want your DP15. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, and another thing is, if you want to do giveaways, that's totally fine. But if you have no followers and one DP15 and like two 800s and your giveaway is for like a brand new with tags Pro Limited, it's probably a fake giveaway. Right, so if you're going to do a giveaway, please make it legit. I'm really starting to get tired of people doing fake giveaways. Uh, we've done three giveaways, all 100% legit. All the people have received their items. Um, they've confirmed it with us, and we've shown it to you guys. So uh, that's that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you want to do a Glove account, please do, guys. We need more good people in this community. There's a lot of good people um, just starting who are making a big impact, like uh, 806 Leather, um, Yellow Sub 73, uh, my boy who just got scammed by the swoosh um or as we now call him douche gloves or uh, uh, douche yeah what is it swoosh gloves yeah douche gloves sorry guys and um he's uh t underscore l underscore g underscore five um who else some new guys oh the glove cowboy super cool guy we won his giveaway and it was obviously legit because we got our item actually it was for a hat and a pair of batting gloves and when he posted, um, he ended up posting a picture of his daughter with an Easton bucket hat. And I was like, oh, can I have the bucket hat instead? Because um, I don't really wear um, like the trucker style hat that he, that he was giving away. And he's like, I actually can't give it to you. Um, he works for Easton, I believe. I'm not 100% I'm not sure that, but I'm pretty sure. And he said they haven't released them to the public yet, so he can't give it to me. Um... But then he was like, oh, if you don't want the hat or the bat and gloves, I can give you something else. He ended up sending me a brand new 33-inch Ash, um, older Easton um, Andre Ethier model, um, Ash bat 
super sweet. I actually used it in BP the other day. If you follow us on Instagram, um, that bomb I showed um, me hitting was uh, with that East End. It's really nice. I mean, especially for free. What a good guy. Um, he shipped it priority too, which I wasn't expecting. And um, he's a really good guy. He's got a good collection. Um, if I forgot about you, I'm sorry. Um, but there's a lot of good people really jumping on the scene. And uh, they're doing the good things. Uh, we talk about a lot. We've been really down on the glove community. But a lot of people have been doing uh, really good stuff and building up their reputation. Stuff like that. These guys all do things the right way. Um, they talk to people with respect. Um, I'm not sure if any of them ship first. But they're all older guys. Um, so they really um, don't have to because they build up um, a list of references, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, um, like I said, if you want to make a glove account, please do it. Oh, and then the last and most important thing, don't ask people for shout outs. They will give you a shout out if they want to. We only give shout outs to people that we do deals with after we do the deals. We don't do shout outs almost ever. I think the only time we've done shoutouts is for DC Gloves giveaway and Glove Loves giveaway. We will enter some giveaways, but I mean, I entered Glove Cowboys not to win the prize. I entered it because I thought he had a really good collection and I thought he was a really good guy. We were very fortunate enough to win it and very thankful that we won it. But even if we didn't, I still was glad I shouted him out because I thought he had a really good account before he got noticed by a lot of people. Um, so... I wanted to just show him some love and enter his giveaway. Um, so yeah, please just don't come asking me for shout outs. Um, it's just, we're not going to do it. So if you do a deal with me or you buy something of mine, then be prepared for a shout out because that's when we do it. Um, so yeah, guys, comment, like, subscribe. We're going to keep the videos coming daily as usual. Um, probably not on the weekend. Um, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to try because... Um, it's the homecoming football game, uh, so we're probably going to be going to that. I'm not in high school anymore. Marco is. He doesn't play football. I played football in high school. I was a stud. Nah, just kidding. I actually kind of sucked. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be going to the homecoming game tomorrow, so we'll probably be there early. I might just make a video right after this, save it, and then um, upload it. But um, if we don't, I apologize in advance. But remember, even if we don't upload a video tomorrow... You're still going to have a good day.